We are here with the developer preview of iPhone firmware 3.0 um, and we're going to be taking you through a walkthrough of some of the features that were announced today. Um, obviously we're looking at the home screen here, not a lot has changed. Uh, most of the icons remain the same. Uh, most uh, will be familiar to owners of existing iPhones. Uh, two things that are notable here, however. Uh, first of all, in the upper left hand corner, the SMS icon has been uh, replaced by messages and the icon has changed from an SMS bubble to just a blank bubble to reflect the fact that you can now send MMSs as well. And then in the lower right hand corner uh, we have a voice memos icon uh, that um, is the voice memo application that was announced today. So we'll be taking a look at that in a moment. First we're going to be going into messages. So, by and large, uh, the SMS display looks the same as it did before. A couple small changes here in the lower left hand corner. There's now a photo uh, button to reflect the fact that you can attach uh, pictures to these messages and send them as, SM as uh, MMSs. Uh, and then also, we can go landscape if we want to. And tapping on the text input area is going to bring up a landscape keyboard. So when we hit this, uh, this camera button here, we can either take a new photo or choose an existing photo. And we will choose an existing photo. There we go took a little while. One thing that we've noticed about this build is that everything seems to be a little bit slow. Oh, and you can see that it actually inserted the, uh, the same image twice there, probably because I tapped it twice and didn't return immediately uh, from the camera roll. So yeah, th this firmware is a little slow in general. Uh, and we, we probably wouldn't recommend it to someone who relies on their iPhone day in and day out uh, just because it's a little buggy and a little slow. Not terrible, but not the best either uh, for a production device. So uh, now that we have a couple um, images inserted into this message, they appear as thumbnails, and you can see a little 3D effect around the image, which is cute, but certainly not necessary. And we're going to send this. And the bar for sending appears to have hung at the top here. And it looks like those may not send, uh, presumably because iPhone ac accounts aren't uh, provisioned for MMS. Neil, I noticed the same thing. Uh, he had a delivery failure when attempting to send an MMS. So that probably makes sense. Anyway, we're going to back out of the messages application, move down to voice memos. This is a little uh, cuter than your normal iPhone application, built-in iPhone application. Uh, frankly, looks a little bit like a third-party application, not to say that's necessarily a bad thing. At the, along the bottom, we have a volume meter. Uh, that's live. As soon as you open the application, this is responding. You can see the needle bouncing a little bit there. Uh, on the left, there's a record button, and on the right, there's a list button to see the voice mem memos that you already have saved. So we'll click on record. Testing, testing, one, two, three. And we can now play that. By default, I'm assuming this behavior will change by the time 3.0 launches, but right now, by default, when you play a voice memo, it plays through the earpiece, uh, not through the speaker, which isn't the most logical uh, way for the voice memos to operate, I would, I would say. There is a speaker button in the upper left-hand corner here, so you can change over to speaker mode if you want to. Then when I click on, the, on this... I don't know if you can hear that, but my voice memo that I just recorded played. Uh, at this point, I have this, uh, this voice memo highlighted so I can delete it. 
I can also go into it. Uh, I can trim the memo. I can I can remove. Oh, we're going to ignore that call for now. Um, I can uh, I can trim uh, time off the beginning and end of the of the memo, and I can also uh, share it as an MMS, or I can email it as an as an audio file. If I go into the uh, the voice memo further, I can I can label it with one of these preset memos: podcast, interview, uh, lecture, idea, meeting, etc. Or I can add a custom label as well. And then if I do that, it'll appear here in place of the time. This is the uh, the time that the uh, the memo was recorded. Below that is the date, and then along the right side here it says five seconds. That's the duration of the uh, of the voice memo. So we're going to go ahead and delete that.